You're watching Go for the week of August 12th through the 19th. Today we're talking everything fringe. Chris Denholm is from Calgary bringing a show called Legends of Canada. I haven't seen it, obviously. What's it about? Well, it's about stories and poems and all kinds of things from all across Canada. So it's uh, true Canadian content. It's a completely original show written by me and performed by me, directed by me. Uh, I think the uh, audience is going to have a lot of fun at my show. It's very different from all of the other shows at the Fringe. So if you want to see a different show, come and see my show. It's great, great fun, lots of comedy, lots of laughs. Are you poking fun at, at us as Canadians? I is am poking some fun at us as Canadians, but I'm also entertaining. I'm trying to, sh I'm trying to educate people, even I'm a teacher. And uh, so I'm teaching people, why do we live in British Columbia here? Like the name of it? Yeah, why is it not Spanish Col Columbia? Why is oh. it not Russian Columbia? Okay. It could have been. You will hear me say some Spanish and some Russian. Tell me one other fact that I would learn about Canada from watching your show. You will learn why the Battle of 1759 happened in Quebec and what it is. A little object that I will show you, a replica, that determined the fate of Canada. Excellent. Legends of Canada, one of eight fringe performances, 2016 here in Nanaimo. What do you know about another uh, show in the festival this year called Busted? I've heard that that is an exciting show. I, as far as I know, it is completely the opposite of my show. So if you see two shows, maybe you should see my show and that show. Maybe you should see more shows. My show is called Busted and it is a drag performance. So I do what's called bio drag, which is when a biological woman dresses up as a drag queen. So it's going to be a lot of inappropriate humor for the adult audience. <laughs> um, it's going to be a lot of lip sync numbers, musical comedy, stories about my inappropriate behavior. <laughs> Why do you want to share this in a fringe environment? It's a feel-good show. It makes people feel good about their life choices to hear about my bad ones. <laughs> you kind of like watching that train wreck, right? <laughs> That's exactly how I describe myself. <laughs> now, Apropos. You're, you're not known for clean. No, no. Not, not in that sense, no. So the audience needs to be prepared to be shocked. Yeah. Is that what you're trying to do? Is that what you're I'm not trying about? to shock anybody. I'm just trying to, what am I trying to do? <laughs> I'm trying to share stories that maybe some people can relate to and maybe some people can learn something from. Right. Sort of open up some doors and open up some windows yeah. for of awareness for people. What's your venue? I'm here at Nanaimo Center Stage, Harbor City Theatre. Um, I'll be opening tomorrow evening, Friday, uh, at 5.30. Excellent. Okay, you can get full show times for all eight Fringe performances through their website. I believe it's NanaimoFringe.com. Kelly Robinson hosted a very unusual visitor to the Harbor City recently.